Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Hey, hey, guys, you're listening to Who's Hot Radio every Friday on BGE Radio, powered by WTV. I'm your host, EZ, doing it the easy way, and we got a really special show for you guys today, man. I am excited. We have a guest today, and I'm, I'm just jumping right into it because she don't have a whole lot of time. She's actually filming on ABC's Castle right now, and she's doing a favor. She wants to speak to her fans. She wants to say hey. She wants to, she wants to interact. And as you guys know, this is one of the best shows to help the celebrities interact with their fans. And we appreciate all the fans that have been tweeting, and have, you know, appreciate your questions. You guys can go to HollywoodItGuy.com, and you can see all your questions. It's posted right now. You can go to w, the WTV.com com the who's hot and all your stuff is there so without further ado i am blessed to introduce our special guest tamala jones come on down Tamala, Tamala you there i'm here how are you hey girl how you doing man I, 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 i've known you for 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 a while now and uh you, i gotta tell you how how blessed and how happy i was to see you popping up on all the different areas you, you've been popping up on. And, you know, you always play that beautiful black girlfriend. You know what I mean? You, you're, <laughs> always, you're, you're always kill, killing it. I mean, you kill it on – I'm not even going to go into your resume. People know your resume. But when I saw you hit ABC's Castle and I saw you do a different type of role, I was so proud. I was like, and not only did you do it, but you've been killing it. I love. I mean, I I haven't had a whole lot of time to be honest to to watch the show, but you're killing Laney, and I know your fans love it. So how do you feel? How do you feel from that transition to that one role to now being Laney on ABC's Castle? I love it. I love it. Change is good. It was definitely a challenge to learn all the doctor jogging and <laughs> kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, but I had great support. My cast was great. Every time I messed up, they were like, that's okay, take your time. But it's it's been great. I mean, it's really a, a wonderful experience to do that and to also have change in what you're used to doing. Yeah, and and uh, and, and you you're playing it great. And I I I have right now on my blog hollywooditguy.com, dot uh, com, your scene where you're singing. Is that actually you singing, or are you lip singing? Oh no, that's actually me singing. I mean, we pre-recorded it, um, but I and I lip sing in the show, but that is my voice. That's your voice, really? You, you, I didn't even I didn't even I didn't even know about the music side of you. Are you doing an album or anything? Any singles or anything with music? No, 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 no. That was um, something that Andrew, our show creator, uh, asked me to do uh, for the 1940s film noir episode, and he was like, "Can you sing?" I'm like, "In the shower, <laughs> in the car." Um, he was like, okay, well, we're doing something. You're going to be like a Betty, um, Billy Holiday character and want to know if you can do that. So I was just, I wanted to see if I could do it. I said, yeah, but I wasn't sure, and it worked out really good. Yeah, and and, and uh, you killed it. And I understand you're on set right now as we speak for ABC's Castle, and you, you, jumped, you got away for about 15 minutes for our show. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm actually in the hair and makeup trailer, and Miss Stana Caddick is in here along with me. We're in here getting beautified for you guys. Oh, awesome, awesome! Well, you you have a ton. You have a ton of fans. Do you see how many fans have been uh, asking questions on Twitter? Oh my God, the crazy questions! They were good. I saw it. Um, and some of them wanted to know what was my favorite movie I did, and um, uh. My favorite movie I did was The Little Richard Story, which was a, a made-for-TV movie for NBC years ago. I loved it because it was a, a period piece. And then I think someone wanted to know, with my brain aneurysm, did I have brain surgery? No, I did not. It burst. It was a hemorrhage, and uh, it took me like three months to heal. Um, my nerves are still very bad from that experience, but other than that, I'm back to normal. Um, what was some of the other questions? Well, they're all on HollywoodHitGuy.com. I'm looking through them right now. I think one, <laughs> I think a really unique one from uh, Mary Mary Marion, I believe it is Hell and Bliss Eight on Twitter. Uh, they asked, uh, "What would you be? You know, what would you be? What would your wishes be 
for Lainey in season five, if you could, like, you know, create your own character with Lainey? I would love for Lainey and Beckett to have more scenes together, more girlfriend scenes. Um, I would love to have the Esposito rekindling. That would be awesome because everyone loves Esplaney, Lainey and Esposito. So that would be good. And I would love some interaction with um, the new Captain, with Penny's character. I, Lainey hasn't interacted with her yet, and I think that would be really, really interesting. I'm finished? Oh. Um, really interesting to see them interact together since we haven't seen that at all. That, that would be my, my hopes and wishes. And then we have Carol from Brazil, uh, and she has some questions. Um, she says that uh, Tamala is always in contact with her fans on Twitter, and I want to know if she thinks that that's important and why. I definitely think that is important. I think that um, anybody in the arts that has uh, fans should definitely pay homage to them and let them know that they are appreciated and they are loved because without them, we, we wouldn't have the space that we have in what we do. So the fans are very important to me. And though you can't make everyone happy, you can certainly try. And uh, I do try to speak to all of them. I don't get to reach out to all of them because I only have two sets of hands, you know, two hands. But um, I do the best that I can. And I, I love them. I adore them. They're honest. They are. They inspire me to do better. The, that, then that's the beauty of my show and, and the Easy Way movement is we help you sol- interact with your fans. And, and i got to tell you guys, like, I, 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 I've been blessed to deal with a lot of celebrities, and they have no time whatsoever. They love their fans, but they, it's, it's, it's impossible. They're constantly, constantly booked doing things with their publicist or their agent or their manager or they're on set, but they want to interact. So I kind of created a way for, you know, to try to help you guys interact with your fans, and you can, you know, do it through the system of blogging and social media and the cell phone applications. In fact, I'm working on a cell phone application right now to help that on a, on a bigger level. Ooh. And, uh, okay, so what, one of the other questions is Colette, which is at uh, P-O-U-C-E-L-I-N-A-79 on Twitter, is asking, are you coming out with a perfume or any, any of your own, like, clothing line type thing? <laughs> Uh, I guess I should come out with a perfume, but <laughs> uh, but right now I'm working on a cookbook. That is my passion more than, you know, creating a scent at this point. I love to smell good, and I love people who do smell good, so <laughs> one day I will do that. But right now I'm really focusing on getting this cookbook out because it's going to be about my family recipes, and I want to be able to share them with you guys. I love to eat and cook, so... <laughs> I'd love to share that. So you're going to invite me over so I can taste some of that cooking? and uh, we can. Oh, yeah. It's long overdue, <laughs> Easy. You need to come over and get a plate. Yeah, I miss you, girl. You know, but you're, yeah, you, you're, your career is blasting off, and, and that's the beauty of a podcast, and we can talk on a podcast. <laughs> now, now, we have a caller, 11111111. Caller. What? Caller, 11113. I'm not hey, how you, how you doing? Who's this? You, you you know who I am, man. I ain't gonna say my name, but you know who this is. What's up with you? Oh, um, I'm doing yeah. great. We're we're right now on on air. Where are you calling from, uh, caller? I'm calling from Woodland Hills. From Woodland Hills. Okay. Well, we have uh, our guest Tamla Jones on the line. Um, what what question do you have for Tamla Jones? Uh, I was gonna tell her I'm sorry to hear what she had to go through, and tell her you know it's always God over everything and. God bless her and just keep the prayers and everything, and she'll be great, man. She's a great person. Aw, so, thank so you. That is really sweet. Yeah, no well, problem at all. What's your thank name? Huh? Excuse me? What, what's your name? I don't want to say. <laughs> oh, oh you're say being this. secretive. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Um, it does mean a lot to me. And, you know, I would hate for anybody to go through that, but it's good that I talk about it so that, you know, if anyone feels any of the symptoms that I did, that they can go get checked out instead of, instead of having to go through that experience. Exactly. It's it's better to catch things early, actually, you know, so it's actually yeah. good. But, you know, you're doing a great job, and I'm proud of you and everything, and continued success. And E, 
We need some catching up to do, man. All right, get caught De- up now. Definitely anonymous caller. We will do that. Okay, then. Thanks a lot, man. And good show. Good show. All right, guys, and we're back with Tamil Jones on the Easy Show, doing it the easy way, BGE Radio, powered by WTV. And by the way, Tamil, do you know that this show is actually being featured? You are the top, top feature right now on Blog Talk Radio, the front page. There's millions of people that are on Blog Talk Radio, and they got your beautiful mug right there on the front page right now. Wow. Loving that. Yeah, so we want to thank you. We want to thank Blog Talk Radio for uh, for the love, and um, you're actually uh, they're they're promoting you well. And um, I have a ton of questions, and my my questions are actually going to go back back in the day because I I will never forget Booty Call. Okay, I, I have, <laughs> you know be, besides our friendship, you know I I was a fan of Booty Call, and and uh, you know your your thing with Tommy Davidson and and uh, Jamie Foxx and everything, and uh, that to me that was actually one of the, like I think you're one of your biggest lead roles like throughout the whole film. Am I right or no? Yeah, that was it was uh, an ensemble cast, and so we all were leads in the movie, and that was like my very first movie I ever did, and it was so great because you know Jamie and Tommy were just getting off of the Living Color, and I didn't huge fans of theirs, and Vivica, you know, watched her on Out All Night, and, you know, she had Independence Day coming, so it was truly a blessing to be in the company of those people at such an early stage in my career. I have the best time ever. Yeah, and then your career has just blossomed from then. Well, my next next question is going to be a really unique one, and actually I want to thank... um, the uh, fan Hell and Bliss Eight, which is your biggest fan in the planet, let me tell you. Okay, this girl <laughs> made a website for you. Did you see the website, Tamala-Jones.com? I have. She did a great job. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I was looking at that site and um, I was going through some things, and I happened to see a video. Tamala in King Bachelor's Pad, Episode 3, <laughs> Sherlock, Sherlock Homeboy. What is up with that? Well, Jonathan Lazane is a young and up-and-coming um, producer, and, I mean, he's really young. He's in his early 20s, and I, I like to be able to help out in any way I can for, you know, the fresh new blood coming in the business and trying to do big things, and uh, I thought it was funny. You know, he's young, he's trying to come up with this sketch comedy show, he's done an excellent job in the the uh, episodes that I've seen, and I he asked would I be a part of it, and I was like, of course. And it's a group of young guys all doing this together, and that's very empowering and something that I think that people that have been in the business for a long time should do, which is support the young, because you know what? You never know how big they're going to be in the future. They'll remember you helped them out, and they'll they'll always be able to call you and say, "Hey, you want to do this?" You can say yes or no, but more than likely, I'd say yes. You know, I really, I I really love that you think that way because not a lot of people think that way, and and uh, it's you you have to support the inspiring youth and and the people that are going to be the next in line. And um, it's awesome that uh, that that you're willing to do that. And I mean, you're you were just on Wendy Williams. I, I watched that. How how was that experience? I know I know Wendy's probably a character. Oh, you know what? It was nice. Um, Wendy is entertaining. She <laughs> definitely gets down to the root of what she wants to know. Uh, but I respect her as an entrepreneur and and, and a, as a woman and a mother. So it was a good experience. Her husband and and herself produced the show together. So we've got a power couple at hand. But it was nice. And she invited me to come back anytime I had anything to promote, and I will definitely do that. And you know what? I'm going to do a little reenaction because I'm hoping that you're going to come on my actual studio show, my green screen studio show, with uh, David Morganson involved. He's uh, one of Jimmy Kimmel's uh, former sketch comedy writers and uh, Pepper J Productions. And uh, look at your boy E moving up in the world a little bit. You know, you I know love me for... it. <laughs> Congratulations. I, wa- I want to have you def- definitely. I want to definitely have you come in on the studio, and and we'll do some some really fun stuff. You can cook for us, and we can promote your cookbook. <laughs> love to. I would love to. But okay, so 
Let's talk about 35 and ticking. That was a very uh, was that a was challenging role, or um, what, what do you think inspired you before you went on? Because you know, when you're an actor, you have to really get yourself in, in the mindset, right? You have to really kind of put yourself in that in that character. Well, um, that character is basically based around every 30-something-year-old woman that I know, including myself. Um, there's so many different issues you have at that time if you're not married and you haven't had any children or if you are married and you haven't had any children. It's a lot, you know. There's um, Your clock is ticking. <laughs> You maybe didn't ever want to have any kids, but as soon as you start getting closer to that age, you think about it. You're like, hmm, yeah, I'd like that. Or <laughs> you, it, it could be the whole relationship thing like the character in the movie was where she always wanted kids, her husband did not, and she thought by marrying him she could change him. And that's often the situation in relationships too. Like, you know, women always think, Oh, uh, he's saying that now, but once we get married, it'll change. And that, that's not always the case. So it's like a different different levels of messages in there that I hope every woman could identify with as well as every man and realize that people are who they are and you have to accept them for who they are. And the only way they're going to change is if they want to. But if a man says <laughs> he doesn't want any kids, that means he doesn't want any kids. And if Possibly could just mean he doesn't want any with you. <laughs> oh, ooh. Yeah, that was my situation in the movie. But I had a good time. There really wasn't a lot of preparation. I, it was like a actor summer camp, to be honest, with Kevin Hart and Nicole Larry Parker and, you know, Megan Good. It was just more fun than it was work. So it was, it was like a party every day. Mike F., oh, wow. Wendy Raquel Robinson, come on now. When are you going to invite me to these fun here. parties? <laughs> when, 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 I, I got to start coming to some of these these, these fun parties here. Now, and I want to give a shout-out to Megan Good, too. Megan Good's a friend of mine, and she's such a sweetheart, and she's a very godly uh, person, um, and she's a total sweetheart. Her career is uh, advancing and, and you know, and, and jumping, uh, you know, very fast. And uh, so, so you, you're basically friends with with all these all these uh, actors, and you guys just kind of hang out beyond the scenes. Is there any cool behind the scenes stories you might have uh, that you could tell us? Uh, anything that comes off the top of your head? No, I. You know what? I'm really a hermit. I don't <laughs> come outside unless it's time to go to work or um, having dinner with some friends. You know, I, my friends are not in the industry so much. Um, but whenever I see my industry friends out at events or whatever, we always hug and kiss each other. And it's always a great, great thing to see them because it's always been a period of time that we haven't. So we have fun. And I'm very proud of Megan and, and pretty much everybody from that movie, Kevin Hart. I mean, like, they're just working nonstop. Kevin Hart filling in for, uh, what is it, Chelsea Lately and Megan Good's got a new movie coming out, The Obama Effect with Cat uh, Williams and um, Charles E. Dutton. It, it seems to look really interesting. I saw a few clips from it um, with music featured by the Goody Mob. I'm really excited about them and their new album coming together. So, you know, it's just, just good. I'm just proud of everybody. I'm happy everyone's doing good and consistently good, and uh, I celebrate everybody. Uh, are you a fan? Uh, you 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 know uh, Abraham McDonald, right? I think so. He, he was at the uh, Monica birthday uh, party we were we were at. Okay. Yes. 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 He's, you know, it's he's, always names. I got to put names to faces. He's actually our guest coming on next week, and then uh, Busy Bone with Bone Thugs and Harmony is going to be coming on. And um, I always like to try to connect guests. You know me. I've always been a connector. But we have a, a flood of calls coming in, and I know that you're, uh, you know, you, you're on set, and I don't want to take up too much of your time, but you have a ton of uh, calls coming in, and I'd like to answer a couple more of these calls. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring in caller 323 Caller 323 are you there? I'm here. What's going on, Eric? How are you, Tamala? I'm good. Matthew. How are you? Who's speaking and where are you calling um, from? I'm great. Uh, this is Dana Generally calling from QB headquarters. 
Oh, Dana. Oh, my God, you guys. We have a special treat. Let me, let, me, let me introduce who Dana is. Dana is actually involved in a new social network coming out, which uh, I'm very blessed to have a channel on. And, Tamla, you need to get a channel as well. Uh, what this is is this is the newest, hottest social network. It's 3D interactive technology, and it complements your Twitter, your Facebook, and your YouTube, and it's the new, hottest social network possible coming out. They already have Chris Brown and Megan Good's part of it, and now Tamla is going to be part of it. Dana, meet Tamla. As well Tamla, as Abraham Dana. McDonald and, and Busy Bone. You, you mentioned a couple of QB Channel owners uh, oh, oh. a few seconds ago oh. as well. All so, my people, yeah, all my to, people are going to have, be part of it. Yeah, we love to have Tamla. We'd love to have oh. uh, we'd love to have you come in for lunch and a tour here in Van Nuys and, and come check out what we have going on uh, over here at QB. But I just wanted to call in because I'm a fan of yours, and I mean this is uh, an interview about you, and uh, you know I just wanted to say that I've always been a fan of your work, and, and you're beautiful, and you know we we love to have you here. Oh, I would definitely love to come, and thank you for being a fan. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no problem. Just, just, Eric well, thanks, and I go back. I thought thanks it'd be for calling cool. in, Dana. We'll we'll talk we'll talk more. I want to get to a couple more of these callers, but thank you so much for calling Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Good talk to you, right. Dana. I'll be talking to you soon. All right, guys, we have a caller caller four one four three three one six six eight two. Is, did I say that right? Good talk four, four. To Dana. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello, hello, caller. How are you? Where are you calling from? What's your name? Hi, my name is Colette. Oh, Colette. Colette? The big fan, yes, the big hello. Fan, Colette. I'm calling from Switzerland. <laughs> Beautiful. How are you? Yes. Hi, Tamala. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's so great to hear you. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice, too, all the way from Switzerland. Oh, I love you. that. <laughs> I have a question for you, if okay. I may. Um, I just wanted to ask you, uh, what are your plans for the future besides the acting? Um, I don't know. I've always been very passionate about acting and um, getting into executive producing now and also, I'm um, getting the cookbook together, so mm-hmm. I got Hello? Oh, with the entertainment business. Okay, sounds great. Busy, busy, busy woman. Well, thank you, caller, for calling. And remember, you can always uh, correspond with, with uh, myself and Tamala on Twitter, and uh, we'll also be posting on HollywoodItGuy.com and TheWTV.com and looking at your comments and doing the, our best to uh, to respond. And all the way from Switzerland, uh, thank you so much I for calling. I love it. it. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, we have a caller, caller 310-7351. 3107351 you there? Call it 3107351. We might have a shy caller. We'll call back caller cuz maybe we have a bad <laughs> connection or something. Okay, well so Tamala, man, um you obviously have a lot of fans and and uh and uh everything is 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 happening for you. So, if you could act with anybody that you could you you could ever act with. Uh, who would you who would you choose besides Vivica Fox and all your best friends? <laughs> I would love to work with Meryl Street. I think she is absolutely wonderful, uh, outstanding actress, and I know I could learn a lot from her. A lot. I've been her biggest fan forever, and I think she is a balance between funny and dramatic so well. I'd like I, I would be itching to work with her. Okay, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I, I think you're a better actress personally, but that's just me, and I can say oh, whatever I want on my show. Oh wow, shoulder. that's but, big. No, I can't agree with you on that. I I think she's just outstanding. But that's the beauty of having your own show. You can do what you want. I I, <laughs> I happen to say that. So, so I'm going to try this caller one more time. Uh, we have a caller three one zero seven three five one. Caller three one zero seven three five one. Are you there? Okay, that one's not working. We have a caller, 510-4652, 510-4652. Caller? Hello? Hey, Hello, caller. 
I guess we have some shy callers, or maybe we have some technical difficulties. I just actually sent a text to our engineering department to not to try to fix the situation if that is the case. But. Okay. Hello, caller. Ah, am I there? Well, that was okay. So the producer and uh, we have a caller in queue six zero two six nine three three. Six zero two six nine three three. This is Tamel Griggs. Hello, Easy. Ah, Hi, so Tamela. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Who are caller? Can you explain uh, where you're calling from and and uh, and what your question might be for Tamela? Uh, this is Tamel Griggs. I'm the uh, writer director for the Jack Story. Um, just uh, called in to say hello. I'm a, I'm a big fan of your work, and um, just wondering uh, what what you had in uh, mind for the future as far as uh, your next movie. Have you ever done any horror, thriller type movies? Oh, no. I'd love to do one of those crazy horror movies where I'm running from the monster and I fall and I look back and he's right there and I get up and I run. I'd love to do that. <laughs> wow, that'd be great. That's good to know. That's good to know. Great. Big fan of your work. I've been uh, you know, following a lot of stuff that you've done. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Are you into horror movies? Is that what you what you do? Actually, I'm working on a uh, movie called The Jack Story. Uh, it's a drama, suspense, thriller, and we're actually casting for it right now. Absolutely. Ah, well, who is the movie company? Um, we have uh, Kevin Smith uh, Pictures, uh, our distributor, but I'm doing it under my um, my uh, company, The Jack Story Project LLC, independent film. Yeah. Okay, well, you should get that over to my people at APA. Barry McPherson is my agent, and if you cast it now, you should get it over there ASAP so I can look at it and possibly come in there and read for you. That'd be that'd be wow. great. I actually just sent the script to uh, Michael Beach. He's uh, he's uh, interested in uh, in the film. Absolutely. He Absolutely. is amazing. I just worked yeah. with him in another movie called Things Never Said. He's awesome. Yeah, he's a he's a, a great actor. I look forward to working with him. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, well, thank you, caller. Uh, I, I, the pers- we always appreciate you coming in, and, and remember, you can you can tw- tweet us. We can continue the conversation, but we got to get back to the show. And uh, thank you, Tamel. Um, thank you. Thank so, you for having me on. And Tamela, you're you're a great actress, and uh, hope to work with you one day in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Tamela. Now, I I I know that you are. Doing some other uh, projects. I'm actually looking at. Uh, I'm pulling up uh, on IMDb right now. Let's talk about your future projects coming up. Um, what future projects? <laughs> Castle um, is it. I I did. Uh, I shot a, a film short with John Huertas, who plays Detective Esposito. We just completed our pickup last weekend. Um, Things Never Said is a wonderful movie. Uh, with Amari Hardwick, who is ultra sexy, and Shanola Hampton, who is an amazing actress. She's on uh, the Showtime show Shameless. And um, Michael Beach was in there. We had a lot of great cast, and the substance is just amazing. It's all about spoken word. It's all about relationships, and it, it has a really deep message, you know, well, I'll go into what I was talking about. You, you. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say future projects. You're playing in the Soul Man, Yvette. Uh, oh yes, that that already aired. Okay, um, and that's what Cedric, it was Cedric good, the Entertainer and Nisi. Huh? Yeah, Nisi Nash. Uh, I, I said that's what Cedric the Entertainer and Nisi Nash. Um, yes. Yeah. I had a great that, time that, working with him. That was probably a, a fun role. And then you have uh, the, uh, your guest professor on RuPaul's Drag You. On, on yes, theaters. that has aired as well. Okay, so that, that's I basically said it wrong. It's uh, you know, so <laughs> I, I'm I'm a little nervous talking to the great Tamela Jones. You know what I mean? So uh, and, then uh, and you can things, catch me um, co-hosting with Dr. Drew on the Prism Awards coming up. Oh, congratulations! Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I'm actually on the board of the American Hip Hop Awards. Uh, it's going to be at the Shine Auditorium, and there's about th- four different TV stations. Uh, that that are dealing with it, and it's a it's a pretty big uh, big award show, and uh, you might be a good presenter or something like that for something like that. Ah, oh, yeah, let for, me know. 
Well, we're gonna we're gonna uh, you know we're definitely gonna talk behind the scenes on a, on a lot of a lot of great stuff. But uh, I don't want to uh, believe believe me. I have a lot of questions for you. And I want to I want to keep you on the line as much as possible. But I know that you have to get back to. Uh, to your show, and people are probably waiting for you and saying, hey, hey, unless you do have time, I, I have the questions. Trust me. Uh, I got time for maybe two more questions, and I got to get out of here. About two more questions. Okay, well, you played in um, Head of State with Chris Rock, and yeah. uh, that was a pretty pretty big movie. You also played in Blue Streak with uh, Martin Lawrence, is it? Yeah, Martin Lawrence. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel about those characters? Oh, I love working with Chris Rock. He is an outstanding person, and I, I really appreciate what he and his wife have done um, for, you know, women's shelters all over the world. They are just an amazing power couple. But working with him was great. He is funny as hell, and <laughs> he's so witty. He just is always coming up with something. But the crazy part about Chris, you would think he's, you know, just wild and crazy and always telling jokes. He's pretty quiet. Is he? He's pretty really? quiet. Yeah, a little shy guy, but he's he's so sweet and great family man. And working with Martin was absolutely divine. That guy is nonstop comedy. He is not as quiet as Chris, but um, he's very entertaining. We sang together. I think he's the one who got me singing <laughs> without me knowing it. But we had a good time. Uh, that, and uh, I, as an actress, when you were, st- do you remember when you were starting out? You said that uh, Booty Call was one of your first movies. Do you remember when you were starting out? What was that first handshake? What was that first uh, door opener that that helped you advance your career to that next level? Um, working on The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, their last season, oh. and Will Smith at the end of the show walks up to me and tells me, "You're going to be a big star, kid." Just keep doing what you're doing, and you'll see you're going to be a big star. And it actually, it's because of Will Smith that I even was considered for Booty Call. I was going for the audition, and he was on this funny lot where the audition was shooting Men in Black, and he saw me going up there. He was like, Pamela. And I was like, who is that calling me? I turned around, it's Will. He was like, what are you doing down here, girl? I said, I'm going to audition for Booty Call. He was like, you're going up there to see Jeff Pollock. And I'm like, how did you know? Jeff Pollock was an executive producer on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I just never met him there. And he's also directed Booty Call. So if it weren't for Will Smith, I don't think I would be where I'm at today. Wow. Well, that that must have put a nice little smile on your face, having uh, Will Smith come up to you. But he was right. He was right. Now... Now my other my last my last question and I'm, I'm going to finalize this by also asking you you know you've been on the Easy Show you did it the easy way and I already know the answer but if you could just say it as the plug I'd appreciate it at the end but my last my my last and final question is do you remember how we met? Uh, did we meet at an event? We did, but there's a there's a certain way we met. How did we? Did I walk up to you and flirt? We're going to have to save that one for the next time we interview in the studio. How about that? <laughs> you know I'm flirtatious. It could have been that. I can't remember. Uh, don't 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 start, girl, because I know I, I watched Wendy Williams. I heard that you were single, and I, yeah, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll, <laughs> we'll 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 save we'll save that we'll save that for the for the next interview. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for being on the show. I'm glad, that, and thank you so much for taking the time too. I know I know I'll, you know how you had to coordinate and everything. And I also want to thank your publicist and your agent, and your manager, and everybody for letting you be on the show. And uh, I know you have great, great things ahead, and you and I are definitely going to be talking behind the scenes. Uh, so how do you feel being, being on the show, being on the podcast? How, how was your experience? It was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for inviting me and having me, and I would love to come and do your green screen show and come back on your, your this one right now. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to have you. We also have a show on Hot Talk LA, which is a network podcast. You can go to realeasyshow.com. Oh, look at you. 
I'll, there, there's a couple things going on. I'll send you. I'll send you an email. But um, yeah, I, I love you, girl, and you know that. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing some great things uh, together. And and um, be, I'll be watching you on ABC's Castle. And uh, if if you ever get a chance, just tell me you're doing it the easy way. <laughs> I will. I love you too, honey. And I will talk to you soon. You have listened to Tamla Jones on the Easy Way, and stay tuned because there's more to come. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, Andy. All right, guys, so that was Tamla Jones in, live and in person. She's on set right now for ABC's Castle, and she she actually gave us a half an hour, almost 35 minutes of, uh, you know, wonderful uh, questions and answers uh, uh, segment, section here. And and um, so we're going to talk about a couple things uh, also, too, on the show. There's a couple things, actually. I'm going to bring on uh, – my partner and actually executive producer for the Atlantic Division, Kalithia Jenkins. Um, right after the, uh, the this short break, we're going to have Kalithia Jenkins tell you a little bit about the um, the showcase that we're doing on uh, August 25th. So we'll be right back. Hey, you're listening to BGE Radio, powered by WTV, every Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're giving you Hollywood the easy way, Who's Hot Fridays, every Friday. So sit back, fasten your seatbelts, and let's go. And we're back. We're going to go ahead and bring on Kalithia Jenkins. Kalithia Jenkins, are you there? Hello, Kalithia. Hello, Easy. Hello, Kalithia. And Kalithia also has her own show, guys, uh, every Monday and Wednesday. She has a wonderful gospel show, and she talks about finances. So if anybody's ever looking to uh, get that finance 401, that finance info, this is the lady to talk to. Uh, so, Kalithia, we got a fun thing coming up on August 25th. Let's talk about it. Yes, yes, yes. Atlanta is on fire. We got the uh, first annual 2012 um, American Society of Young Musicians Showcase. Um, as many people know, with all the announcements, um, the uh, a- a- AFYM has selected Atlanta as its next chapter um, to uh, to to extend um, their their assistance through the city, the music mecca of the South, and that's Atlanta, pretty much of the nation, um, to Atlanta. And we have the first live music showcase happening August 25th, partnered with a fabulous Morehouse College, and it will be at the Ray Charles Center. So we're just excited, Eric, because, um, you know, um, we'll be selecting 10 participants. You know, WTV's involved with it, the Go Grow and Enjoy, BGE Radio's involved with it, um, and seeking out talent in the city. And, you know, there's a lot of talent in Atlanta. Um, of the 10 that are selected, um, they will get in front of a panel on the, sh- on, on the stage, perform, show their talent. Um, they'll get critiqued, and then we'll select the top one and take them straight to Hollywood and see what we can do with them. So um, right now, registration is taking place. Um, deadline is August the 15th. Um, so get on over to ASYMATL.org if you'd like to participate in the upcoming showcase. Tickets are also on sale. Um, we partnered with the fabulous Museum Bar for our after party and monthly mixers. Um, for those of you who just don't know a little bit about the American Society, it's a 501c organization, um, the national organization that's compromised individuals in the music and entertainment industries, as well as various business leaders um, that just come together to support um, young musicians. Um, we have these events. We put them on so we can support young musicians in with scholarships, so we can support them with, you know, just financial needs. You know, it's it's, it's hard being a musician, um, especially in these times. You know, a lot of them come homeless. You know, we may have to put them up in housing or something. Mentorships with the record labels are the relationships we have. Um, a lot of people on the executive board that we have are some major players in the game, one being Quincy Jones, um, another being Madonna, um, you know, a lot of the record label CEOs that are actually on the board to support um, this, this this organization, which has been in place for the last 20 years. So we're just happy. You know, right now, Eric, we are, like, getting the, um, you know, they were out scouting, you know, open mic. is very popular in Atlanta, so they are out, you know, um, scouting an open mic. They're going out there tonight. Uh, you know, the ASYM committee board members um, were expecting 
T.I. We're expecting uh, Ludacris, Jazzy Faye, Gucci Man. The team is in talks right now with um, the managers and the publicists. Um, Dwight Eubanks. We have Tribble Reese from A&E, Bachelor. He's on the red carpet co-hosting with the fabulous, fabulous, and I love her. Oh, Janet, what positive runway. We're going to have about, you know, 15 models on the, on, on the red carpet just, you know, strutting it and just really make it pop for these kids in support of their just talent that we have in the city. So it's exciting, and, you know, I look forward for greater things to come. So you guys just get on over to asymatl.org for more information. Spread the word. You know, you don't have to just be in Atlanta for that for us to be that support. We are there for, you know, that southeast region. So you can definitely reach out to us if you are a young musician up and coming. And I understand. I, I know I talked to my boy, Young D, which is one of the former members of uh, Three Six Mafia, is going to be attending. And I've been talking to my boy, Busy Bone, which is going to be coming on the show, not this week, but I believe next week. Um, in fact, no, you know, he actually just texted me back. So let's go ahead and see what he texted and how he confirmed on when he will be on the show. And we're going to try our best to get him down there, because I know there's probably a lot of Busy Bone fans out there from uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. He said, uh, six. The sixth, so August sixth, uh, a busy bone okay. is uh, confirmed to come on, come on the show. Um, so hey guys, so, it, you, know, it, it, you know we have a caller coming in, and I believe this is the caller we were, I was waiting for. Caller three one zero six six nine two. Caller three one zero six six nine two. You there? I'm here. Ah, caller. Uh, hi, hi, caller. Who are you, and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Dennis. Oh, this is Dennis. Football. Okay. Ah, oh, great. So we have uh, Kalithia Jenkins uh, on, on the line, and, and uh, d- this is Dennis Milani, and I believe, uh, Kalithia, you've talked with Dennis. But Dennis is the founder of a group charity organization called Global Crucible, C-R-U-C-I-B-L-E dot org, which is a nonprofit that helps other nonprofits, and they have a fantastic event coming up on September 14th, Dennis, tell us about it. Well, September 14th, we'll be turning uh, five. Basically, that is our fifth anniversary, and we're very excited. So um, as you're aware, that will be benefiting um, CEDO, which is a healthcare integrated organization. It's an aid orphanage in Africa. So basically, you're working uh, to help out uh, the little kids with medication, clothing, scholastic materials, so basically, we are turning five, and also we decided to uh, have that to benefit that uh, nonprofit for the uh, eight orphans. I, and I understand this is a wine tasting event. You guys are giving a dur- or d'oeuvres and dessert and all that fun stuff. And yeah, wh- where's the event at? The event is at the uh, City Club at Banker Hill. Uh, that is in downtown LA. We'll be in the sky rise. So basically, you'll be able to see the entire LA. It's gonna be a fun time. Uh, it will be Friday evening, September 14th, uh, from 5:30 to 10 p.m. And uh, we've sent out, um, we've started sending out invites to all uh, our networks, and we hope to have a great crowd supporting us uh, through the event uh, for the pledge, uh, uh, basically process. Well, I understand you have one of the funniest and most handsome and coolest hosts in the planet uh, hosting for you. Who's that again? <laughs> Mr. Eric Zuli, the easy way. That's the way we're doing it. We are very excited oh, actually to work with Eric. <laughs> little, little old me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. Hey, if you guys, if you guys support the Easy Way movement, I, I hope that you guys do come definitely and donate and support this cause. I will be Dennis, there with all my. Dennis needs to come down to. I'm sorry, Dennis needs to come to Atlanta. There's so many organizations in Atlanta that can use your organization in support of what you know the movement you have going on. I actually had um, an organization that. Um, I've, um, you know, um, um, believe in, you know, honored at my Keystone Award, Coco Bushi Doe. When you go to Coco, K O K O R O B U S H I D O dot com, um, great organization with the kids and, you know, teaching them how to, you know, a lot of bullying going on, just teaching them the, the, the self discipline and just, you know, just helping them to get that confidence in their life. So, Dennis, we can definitely use you in Atlanta. Now, oh, I gotta okay. say, Felicia, how how are you gonna knock me 
right off track when I was right in the middle of my my hosting funniness, and then you just like, eh, 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 and I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just kidding. Hey, 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 did it? That's his, that's his, that's his, that's his fault for putting two hosts on the air. He put me on blast and got me on air. <laughs> no, you, you, you you can sense the passion. I mean, the way she's talking about it. I mean, uh, at times when you you know passionate about this thing, helping out. Um, you just get caught up. I mean, you can't help it. So I kind of understand where she's yeah. coming from. <laughs> but no, yeah, def- def- definitely, definitely. I hope, I hope that you can, uh, you can, you can make the event. And also, too, guys, we have a, we have a special uh, guest, a, a good friend of mine that's actually going to be calling in. He, he owns a suit company. Uh, it's one of the largest suit companies in Las Vegas, and he also manages some of the, you know, sports figures you guys might recognize. In fact, I believe he has a client that's going to be on ESPN two at seven o'clock p.m. tonight, waiting for him to call in, and hopefully he's listening in. Um, and they're going to explain a little bit about the fight uh, that's going to be going on tonight. And I, I heard that they may be saying they're doing it the easy way. Who knows? That would be pretty cool if they said that on ESPN, I think. But we're waiting for uh, for that caller. And, uh, yeah, so you guys got to definitely support globalcrucible.org. Uh, it's a wonderful organization. I, I'm blessed to be the brand ambassador of that, that organization. And uh, we already have, I believe, 30 people that are committing to uh, to come, and that was the first day. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the uh, turnout um, we're expecting to be uh, very good, so we're just waiting. Um, We have some time to go, but uh, we hope to see everybody there, and uh, we're very excited about this event and, of course, the cause. Um, It's going to really go a long way uh, helping out uh, those uh, kids in Africa. Um, Thank you very much, Eric. We appreciate all the help you're giving us, basically. Definitely, Dennis. I know you had a, a previous event uh, where where my company actually ran the carpet, and uh, we had uh, Ray J show up in support. And uh, actually, if you guys want to see that interview, you can go to uh, YouTube and just type in Ray J and Global Crucible, or you can go to uh, my website, theeasyshow.com, and you can see the interview with myself, Ray J, his new artist, Sahiba, um, uh, the president of the Multicultural Motion Picture Association, and... Um, and uh, I forget her name. She's going to kill me, but she's the star of Bring It On Again. Um, oh, my gosh, she's going to kill me. Oh, you're not hearing this, Anna? Oh, but she's a good friend of mine. She was actually hosting for uh, for WTV. Um, okay, I just got the text. Uh, my guy's going to be calling in in about two minutes. And, uh, yes, yeah, so thank you so much for calling in, Dennis. Uh, we, we appreciate it. And you guys can check out Dennis's website. Uh, and Twitter, it's all Global Crucible, so you just search Global Crucible. You, you know, make sure you add them on Facebook and Twitter, and and uh, subscribe. And I believe you, you, know, you guys have some sort of cell phone application, right? Or that's in development. What's yes, going on uh, with that? That's, yeah, that will be coming out very soon, hopefully before the event. So we are trying to shoot for that. So yeah, we have a, an app, a mobile app, in the uh, uh, for iPhones and Android phones. So it will make it easier to be in touch with us, uh, communicate. Uh, do your donations online. Just we're trying to be really uh, very flexible on how we kind of work with our network. Okay, um, awesome. So you guys got to make sure that you uh, you you go there and support and and, and uh, download the application. So that basically they just they just click on the download button and download the application. Is it going to cost money? Is it free? Yes, the application is free. So we're just making it more and more easier for everybody. Well, that's great because I mean it's it's hard to get an application. I know cell phone applications uh, cost about fifteen thousand minimum and uh, for development. Uh, we're in development for a cell phone application uh, for the easy way right now. So I've, I've been you know realizing what the process is of all that really is. Uh, yeah. So okay. Actually, the easy way banner will be featured there too. So uh, the minute they download it, they should be seeing the easy way. I believe the banner should be uh, there. All the advertisements and all that stuff. The collaboration. Um, everything. So we hopefully will capture everything that we need. Okay, great. Well, we have the uh, the special guest I was telling you guys about. We have caller three two three eight five zero nine three two three eight five zero nine. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, is this Mr. Fred? Yes, sir. I'm here with Mickey Bay, who's fighting tonight. Oh, you're there with Mickey Bay. Wow, that's uh, we're in for a treat. Uh, hi, I'm Mickey. How are you? How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. But blessed and highly favored, man. We just had Tamla Jones on as our special guest, and we were just talking about uh, the fundraiser that uh, is going to be coming up on September 14th. And I understand you have a big fight uh, coming up at 7 p.m. today, Pacific Standard Time, on ESPN2. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, you know, I got a fight tonight. You know, I'm expecting to put on a great show. So, 
you know, everybody tune in and don't miss it. What's your strategy in going into the fight? Um, hit and not get hit and just uh, poetry in motion. Well, make sure that you give them that easy way uppercut, and you'll 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 be good. Oh yeah, yeah, the easy way, easy work. You know, easy way is the slogan for this fight. As a matter of fact. Oh wow, awesome! So you're gonna be going in there and yeah, doing it the, the easy slogan. way, huh? Easy way. Yeah, yup, easy way. Great, great. Now, that's Fred. The now, Fred, uh, oh, you own a, uh, a suit company, which I, I actually looked at the video, and, and I believe you're meeting with uh, one of our producers in Las Vegas to talk a little bit about uh, the suit company. Talk a little bit about that and who's wearing your suits and what's going on with that movement. Uh, it's Frederick Lamar, the suit line, and I have uh, people like uh, Don King in boxing. I wear, uh, I got uh, Jason Terry, uh, Gary Payton is a client of mine, uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, the late Johnny Cochran was a good client of mine. I also dress uh, Frankie Beverly, just to name a few. Wow, that's 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 pretty good. We're gonna get all them on my show, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And Eric Zuli. Oh, and and and, and Eric Zuli. That's that's a that's a cool name there. No, I'm thinking. But and uh, we want to thank Brad for the introduction. And it goes to show you guys uh, what social media can really do. Because I, I got to be honest with you, a lot of the business that I'm doing. In fact, I, I have an interview today for the Washington Times. Um, the Washington Times is inter- interview. I mean, I'm I'm very blessed for that. And I met the gentleman on Twitter. Uh, they they hit me up on Twitter and said, hey, I love what you're doing, this and that. Followed him, did the DM. Next thing I know, I got a phone number, and bam. How did I meet Mr. Fred? I met him today. Met him on Facebook. He was referred by uh, by his friend Brad, and uh, Brad told him about me. He hit me up on Facebook, and I, I did the initiative it took to do the follow-up. I called him up. We talked. There was a vibe, and the next thing we know, I, I want you guys to watch this, too. Listen to what I'm saying. You're going to watch a movement of how – I'm going to start wearing suits, and, and we'll be dealing with ESP, ESPN and all of his awesome clients, and, and watch how the movement works, and that's how you do it the easy way. And remember, you guys can go to HollywoodTheEasyWay.com, HollywoodTheEasyWay, letter E, letter Z, dot com, and you can join the group. It's a free group on Facebook, and you can meet awesome people like we roll with. you know. But thank you so much for being on the show, Fred. Looking forward to seeing the fight. And after you knock them out, um, you know, make sure that you tell them that you knocked them out the easy way, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Easy, easy way or no way. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, for coming on real quick. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, Eric. All right, guys. So you're listening to Mr. Easy himself on BGE Radio, powered by WTV. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I did my best. Uh, we're, we're we're having fun. Remember, this is also going to be syndicated on. Hot Talk LA Radio, which is a podcast I also do. It's a celebrity uh, it's a talk show podcast. Um, our, our, our last guest uh, was amazing, and you guys just got to check it out. You can download the uh, cell phone application at Stitcher, S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R, dot com forward slash um, Eric Zuli. And uh, remember, you can always follow the movement, all the different social media. We're on everything, Facebook, YouTube, um, uh, Twitter. If you guys want to see this I know right now you're listening to it, but if you want to see it, you can actually go to my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash e r i c z u l e y, or theeasyshow.com or our wonderful site for the network the wtv.com and you can see all these wonderful interviews you can see everything that you're hearing we try to make sure you can see it as well try to get them in the studio we want to thank dana for calling in with qb qb is the new hottest hottest social network on the planet and you'll see what i'm talking about uh i will be getting a channel and you guys can follow that it's literally 3d interactive i can go in the front of your screen and i can snap my fingers and disappear and pop out another screen Pull out of my pocket, throw in the air, and a music video will pop out. It's ridiculous stuff. I hope you guys are ready. And I know Kalithi is still there. Kalithi, thank, thank you so much for telling us about the uh, the wonderful showcase. And um, Busy Bone actually did just text me back right now and say, cool. So we're going to be discussing him him coming on. I will be telling him about the showcase. And it, this is a showcase for you guys. Remember that. So if you are an artist and you are listening to the show or you listen to the, the pre uh, recorded show, however you listen to it, this is a way for you to step up to that next level, for you to do it the easy way, for you to be seen by very prestige people that can help you in the industry. Um, there's a lot of major power players that are involved in the situation, and it's going to help you. And, and I believe, Kalithia, are you still there, Kalithia? I know I just yes, run my I'm house. Yes, I'm here. Up, so. 
I, I just I can just keep on going going. I, I I don't even know if people are listening to me anymore. Um, I'm here. <laughs> I believe that the winner of the showcase actually gets to do it the easy way in Hollywood. Explain to the, explain that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take them Hollywood the easy way. We're gonna get them on some red carpets. We're gonna get them into some events. We're gonna get them dapping with some of these movers and shakers. You know, taking them from Atlanta and letting them just see how it is. Getting them on some video reels, marketing, PR, and them getting them some media kits. Just basically just giving them that marketing and PR and taking them viral, which WTV is known for. The so let me get way. a little bit more specific. So the winner of the showcase gets to get red carpet and media exposure. They get to be featured on WTV. They get to interview with 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 myself, EZ, and basically yeah. they get to be discovered and seen, and uh, they get to be a part of my 500 different media companies that I, I, I work with and get to be seen by the half a million followers that we have. Wow, that's a I, I, uh, I should go into it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll have to correct you over a billion followers or reach that we have <laughs> well the reach so. correct yes the reach <laughs> yes if you add in all the syndication and all the relationships yes wtv does have a right. pretty pretty good reach of, of the b word I, I i sometimes i'm afraid to say that so that's pretty big and uh, we also want to thank uh, larry namer with uh, maton development group uh, the show hello hollywood for being a big part of that that reach uh, over 700 million people on Hello Hollywood and all the people in China. We want to thank FanTV.TV, which is the Filipino uh, community, and you guys can see my page on there. We want to thank uh, IconNews.us, which is actually going to be broadcasted by NBC, Dish, Boss. It's ridiculous, and I also have a page on there. So that gives you an idea of how we actually have this 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 reach. And we really appreciate you guys listening in. Remember, you guys can go to my blog at HollywoodItGuy.com. I am going to be your interaction to your favorite celebrities. I do the best I can. We do the best we can to help the celebrities interact with their fans via blogging, via podcast, and via Twitter. So if you guys want to get questions to the celebrities, if you want to interact with the celebrities, we're doing the best we can to, to, to help you do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I had a blast, but I got to go because... I need to eat. I haven't eaten at all today, but you know what? I will still kill myself for you guys, and I love you guys. So everybody listening, whether it's morning time, afternoon, nighttime, uh, I know some people stay up until like 4 in the morning just to listen to my show, and I really, really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. We can't do it without you. You guys are listening to The Easy Show, The Easy Way, uh, uh, BGE Radio, powered by WTV. We hope you enjoyed the show. We want to hear from you. Post your comments. And without further ado, tune in next week for our next guest, Abraham McDonald, signed with Def Jam Records. Abraham McDonald has performed at Oprah. He's supposed to be performing for the president. He's doing amazing, amazing things. You guys can go to thewtv.com, and you can go to Who's Hot, and you can see his page. So thank you so much, guys. You're listening to – I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> you know what you're listening to. We'll see you next week. Blog Talk Radio, where millions of hosts and listeners gather. Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Hey, hey, guys, you're listening to Who's Hot Radio every Friday on BGE Radio, powered by WTV. I'm your host, EZ, doing it the easy way, and we got a really special show for you guys today, man. I am excited. We have a guest today, and I'm I'm just jumping right into it because she don't have a whole lot of time. She's actually filming on ABC's Castle right now, and she's doing a favor. She wants to speak to her fans. She wants to say hey. She wants to she wants to interact. And as you guys know, this is one of the best shows to help the celebrities interact with their fans. And we appreciate all the fans that have been tweeting, and have, you know, appreciate your questions. You guys can go to HollywoodItGuy.com, and you can see all your questions.
questions is posted right now. You can go to thewtv.com, the Who's Hot, and all your stuff is there. So without further ado, I am blessed to introduce our special guest, Tamala Jones. Come on down. Tamala, are you there? I'm here. How are you? Hey, girl. How you doing? Man, I, 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 I've known you for, for, for a while now. And uh, you, i got to tell you how, how blessed and how happy I was to see you popping up on all the different areas you, you've been popping up on. And, you know, you always play that beautiful black girlfriend. You know, I mean, you you're <laughs> always you're you're always kill, killing. I mean, you kill it on. I'm not even going to go into your resume. People know your resume, but when I saw you hit ABC's Castle and I saw you do a different type of role, I was so proud. I was like, and not only did you do it, but you've been killing it. I love. I mean, I I haven't had a whole lot of time to be honest to to watch the show, but you're killing Laney, and I know your fans love it. So how do you feel? How do you feel from that transition to that one role to now being Laney on ABC's Castle? I love it. I love it. getting this cookbook out because it's going to be about my family recipes, and I want to be able to share them with you guys. I love to eat and cook, so <laughs> I love to share that. So you're going to invite me over so I can taste some of that cooking? and uh, we can... Oh, yeah. It's long <laughs> overdue, easy. You need to come over and get a plate. Yeah, I miss you, girl. You know, but your yeah, your 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 career is blasting off, and and that's the beauty of a podcast, and we can talk on a podcast. <laughs> now, now we have a caller one 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 caller. <laughs> what caller one one three? I'm not. Hey, say how, how you doing? Who's this? You you know who I am, man. I ain't gonna say my name, but you know who this is. What's up with you? Oh, um, I'm doing yeah. great. We're we're right now on, on air. Where are you calling from, uh, caller? I'm calling from Woodland Hills. Woodland Hills, okay. Well, we have uh, our guest, Tamla Jones, on the line. Um, what what question do you have for Tamla Jones? Uh, I was going to tell her I'm sorry to hear what she had to go through and tell her, you know, it's always God over everything, and God bless her, and just keep the prayers and everything, and she'll be great, man. She's a great person. Aw, so, hey, thank so you. That is really sweet. Yeah, no well, problem at all. What's your name? Uh huh. Excuse me. What What's your name? I don't want to say. <laughs> oh, well, oh, you're say being seriously. secretive. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Um, it does mean a lot to me. And yeah. you know, I would hate for anybody to go through that, but it's good that I talk about it, so that you know, if anyone feels any of the symptoms that I did, that they can go get checked out instead of, instead of having to go through that experience. Exactly. It's it's better to catch things early, actually, you know, so it's actually yeah. good. But, you know, you're doing a great job, and I'm proud of you. And thinks that that's important and why. I definitely think that is important. I think that um, anybody in the arts that has uh, fans should definitely pay homage to them and let them know that they are appreciated and they are loved because without them, we we wouldn't have the space that we have and what we do. So the fans are very important to me. And though you can't make everyone happy, you can certainly try. And uh, I do try to speak to all of them. I don't get to reach out to all of them because I only have two sets of hands, you know, two hands. But um, I do the best that I can. And I, I love them. I adore them. They're honest. They are. They inspire me to do better. That, that, then that's the beauty of my show and, and the Easy Way movement is we help you sol- interact with your fans. And, and i got to tell you guys, like, I, 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 I've been blessed to deal with a lot of celebrities, and they have no time whatsoever. They love their fans, but they, it's, it's, it's impossible. They're constantly, constantly booked doing things with their publicist or their agent or their manager or they're on set, but they want to interact. So I kind of created a way for, you know, to try to help you guys interact with your fans and you can, you know, do it through the system of blogging and social media and the cell phone applications. In fact, I'm working on a cell phone application right now to help that on a, on a bigger level. Ooh. And uh, okay, So what, one of the other questions is Colette, which is at uh, P-O-U-C-E-L-I-N-A 79 on Twitter, is asking, are you coming out with a perfume or any, any of your own, like, clothing line type thing? <laughs> Uh, I guess I should come out with a perfume, but <laughs> uh, but right now I'm working on a cookbook. That is my passion more than 
you know, creating a scent at this point. I love to smell good, and I love people who do smell good. So <laughs> one day I will do that. But right now I'm really focusing on it. Change is good. It was definitely a challenge to learn all the doctor jogging and <laughs> kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, but I had great support. My cast was great. Every time I messed up, they were like, that's okay, take your time. But it's it's been great. I mean, it's really a, a wonderful experience to do that and to also have change in what you're used to doing. Yeah, and and uh, and, and you, you're playing it great. And I I, I have right now on my blog HollywoodItGuy.com, uh, you're seeing where you're singing. Is that actually you singing, or are you lip singing? Oh no, that's actually me singing. I mean, we pre-recorded it. Um, but I and I lip sing in the show, but that is my voice. That's your voice, really? You, you, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even know about the music side of you. Are you doing an album or anything? Any singles or anything with music? No, 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 no. That was um, something that Andrew, our show creator, uh, asked me to do uh, for the 1940s film noir episode, and he was like, "Can you sing?" I'm like, "In the shower, <laughs> in the car." <laughs> um, he was like, okay, well, we're doing something. You're going to be like a Betty, um, Billy Holiday character and want to know if you can do that. So I was just, I wanted to see if I could do it. I said, yeah, but I wasn't sure, and it worked out really good. Yeah, and and, and uh, you killed it. And I understand you're on set right now as we speak for ABC's Castle, and you, you, jumped, you got away for about 15 minutes for our show. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm actually in the hair and makeup trailer, and Miss Donna Caddick is in here along with me. We're in here getting beautified for you guys. Oh, awesome, awesome! Well, you you have a ton of, you have a ton of fans. Do you see how many fans have been uh, asking questions on Twitter? Oh my God, a crazy question! They were good. I saw it. Um, and some of them wanted to know what was my favorite movie I did, and um, uh. My favorite movie I did was The Little Richard Story, which was a, a made-for-TV movie for NBC years ago. I loved it because it was a, a period piece. And then I think someone wanted to know, with my brain aneurysm, did I have brain surgery? No, I did not. It burst. It was a hemorrhage, and uh, it took me like three months to heal. Um, my nerves are still very bad from that experience, but other than that, I'm back to normal. Um, what were some of the other questions? Well, they're all on HollywoodItGuy.com. I'm looking through them right now. I think one, <laughs> I think a really unique one from uh, Mary Mary Marion, I believe it is, Hell and Bliss Eight on Twitter. Uh, they asked, uh, "What would you be? You know, what would you be? What would your wishes be for Lainey in season five? If you could, like, you know, create your own character with Lainey." I would love for Lainey and Beckett to have more scenes together, more girlfriend scenes. Um, I would love to have the Esposito rekindling. That would be awesome because everyone loves explaining Lainey and Esposito. So that would be good. And I would love some interaction with um, the new captain, with Penny's character. I, Lainey hasn't interacted with her yet, and I think that would be really, really interesting. I'm finished? Oh. Um, really interesting to see them interact together since we haven't seen that at all. That, that would be my, my hopes and wishes. And then we have Carol from Brazil, uh, and she has some questions. Um, she says that uh, Tamala is always in contact with her fans on Twitter, and I want to know if she's... 